She gonna throw. I hope she don't throw an interception. What's up, Virgo? Welcome to Profound Effects here. Uh, right now, I'll be doing a reading for all Virgos. This will be Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this will be a timeless reading. So, whenever you watch this, it's going to be the right time for you to watch it. I'm also going to get you an added message from the money and law of attraction cards. So, welcome, Profound Creatures, to Profound Effects here. Get you some uh, accurate messages, some good energy in these cards. First card I have for you is the Temperance card, part of the Sagittarius. So this is telling you need to find balance in your situation. It's telling you that uh, you and whoever you're dealing with are a good mixture. You guys, you guys go together well. Um, there's, a, there's a good flow going on between you two. And uh, to keep this flow going right, you got to get yourself in balance. So this, this, this road of success for you two is always going to be there. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. The, the, best, the only thing you have to offer is the best version of yourself. So you, you're an enlightened person. You're an enlightened being. Look at, this, look at this glow that you have. You have a certain glow about you when you have yourself in balance. And that's what this person loves about you. They love that glow. They love that energy. So make sure you bring that. Make sure you bring that to the table when you show up to their place or when, when you uh, show up for them. But you got to get yourself right before you, before you have anything to give in this connection. That's what I get for you. It's about getting yourself right, getting yourself in balance. Doing what you need to do, being where you need to be, that's the important thing. And that's what's going to restore peace and harmony to all your relationships. Not just this love, but it's going to restore it to everything. Your friendships, your family, uh, you know, and, and acquaintances, people you work with. Every, everybody that surrounds you loves this energy. They, they, you, you, you light up a room, you illuminate a room when you walk in. People can feel you. They can feel this, they can feel this energy, and that's what they want. That's what they want to be part of. This this brings everybody together. You're the glue that, that, uh, that holds everything together here. So make sure that you're at your best so that, that everyone around you can be at their best. They can benefit from your energy. It's very important for you right now. That's right. It's important for you always to try and stay in this energy. It's enlightened energy. Yeah, you got the Page of Swords here. So somebody that has been spying on your work, I get. The uh, Page of Swords is somebody who is a spy, somebody who, who has been watching what you've been doing. They could be, you know, sitting right outside your place playing music right now, um, listening to everything you say. You know, or they could be on your social media, you know, uh, spying on you know, all your stuff. So this this person is has been watching over you, and I think they like what they see. This person this person loves what they see from you. They see that you have a lot of ability. They see that you are, are somebody who brings people together with with your powerful energy. You were enlightened. Um, this is somebody who also wants to have sex with you. You have the sword. The page of swords is a card that has to do with, with uh, penetration. Penetration. So this person wants to be penetrated by you. They find you very sexually attractive. Um, they can't stop. They just can't stop watching you. They can't take their eyes off you. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, they can't stop. They're talking to their friends about you, how sexy you are, how amazing you are, um, how, how wet you make them. Like, they're like, man, I just can't, can't get a lot of head and make my, my pussy so wet. And they're, they're really excited here. So they're telling their friends about this, how, 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 how bad they want you to take this sword and just, just stuff it deep inside of them. Tear their pussy up. So that, <laughs> they, that's what they want here. And, and, I'm laughing because I'm, I'm laughing because this is true, not because it's it's a joke. Yeah, and uh, this person may want you to drive over to their place. Um, they get the chariot as a vehicle. The chariot is a <clears throat> excuse me. The chariot represents a vehicle, so they may want you to drive over to their place and, and pleasure them, or, or um, you know, uh, penetrate them. In this way, or they may be making plans uh, to come over your place, talking, talking with the friends, um, making plans with you. So, yeah, this is a card of momentum. This is telling you to keep moving in the direction you're going. You're, you're, you're doing the right things, and uh, things are lining up perfectly for you.
Yeah, not to hold anything back. It's part of the cancer. That's what I'm giving you. I want you to take that sword, take that sword, take that cock, and just drive it deep in their pussy. You got the Eight of Pentacles coming out here. So this is something you've been working on for a while. Um, this is telling you to stay focused, keep, keep building on this. Um, this is a connection that uh, is going to require a lot of work on your part. So stay focused on this. And you've been building on this. <clears throat> it's something you've been building on for a while. Something you've been holding on to. Uh, I'm getting that somebody's been holding their feelings back from you when it comes to this connection. They've been protecting their heart, guarding their heart. Um, I see that this pentacle is being held close to the heart here. Uh, they've been, they've, you've been weighing on their mind. They've been thinking a lot about you. This pentacle up here. And this person is not looking to budge. They're, they're not looking to budge. They're trying to, they're trying to hold their ground, trying to hold back from telling you what they want. They're trying to hold back from telling you they want you to drive over. Over here talking with their friends about it. There's a lot of gossip surrounding your guys' connection. A lot of gossip surrounding your uh, relationship. You have the king of brats here. So you don't know this, but you, you have the strength to back up whatever ideas you have. You, you might be uh, fantasizing a lot about this person. This is telling you that you, you uh, if you act on what your, your fantasies are, you can you can make this a reality. You can make this happen. The uh, king of the king of rods is all about making dreams come true. He's all about chasing his passion and, and making it a reality. Um, but yeah, this is telling you you have the strength here. Why might you have the strength to back up your ideas? So you can make this happen for you. Yeah, it's telling you to not hold anything back. I'm getting, I'm getting you for to not, not hold anything back. Whatever your feelings are for this person, let them be known. Let them be known. You got the Hermit card coming out here. So with the Hermit card, it's just telling you that uh, you need to, uh, you have all the wisdom within you. You have experience. The, the, the Hermit card is very experienced. This is also your card here, Virgo, card of the Virgo here. So it's just telling you that uh, this is a very good card to get in your own reading. For your cards, it's telling you that you, you will have success with whatever you're after. You're, you're enlightened, like I said before. You, you have um, you have knowledge. You have a connection to the divine, connection to God. That's going to give you all the answers. You have all the answers you need within you to this situation. You're a guiding light for others. The hermit is somebody who um, who studies. You know, he, he shuts out the world. He takes a lot of time to, to focus and to study all by himself. He shuts out all the distractions, and then he takes what he's learned in, in that in that time and space by himself. He takes it out and he shows it to the rest of the world. He's like, look what I look what I found out when I shut everything out and I focused on my studies. And I got that with the Eight of Pentacles too. You need to you need to stay focused on your work, stay dedicated to your work. Um, this is all going to come together for you. Uh, all these all these all this love. Your relationships are going to be restored. Everything's going to come together for you beautifully. Um, people have been watching you. People have been watching you. They're making sure that you're on top of your game. They can't shut up about you. Um, somebody's going to want you to drive over to their place to please them, I see. Uh, they've been holding back their... They've been having a hard time holding back their feelings for you. Um, so take some time to yourself. Uh, stay focused on um, getting, getting yourself right here. And everything's going to come together for you beautifully. That's going to be your reading. And Virgo... Let me get you an added message here for the money. Law of Attraction cards. And this card wants to come right out. So I'll read this one for you. It says, I can deliberately choose to feel better now. I can deliberately choose to feel better now. I'll read the message for you on the back. It says, not only does the thought you are choosing right now attract the next thought and the next, and so on, it also provides the basis of your alignment with your inner being. As you consistently and deliberately think and speak more of what you do want and less of what you do not want, you will find yourself more often in alignment with the pure, positive essence of your own source. And under those conditions, your life will be extremely pleasing to you.
And that is your reading, Virgo. I hope you enjoy that. I know I enjoy doing it for you. If it does resonate with you, make sure you hit that like button. Allow other Virgos out there to be able to view these messages. That's what it's going to do for the whole Virgo family. That's what it's going to do for you as well. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that little notification bell so you don't miss your reading. Next time these signs come out, you do not want to do that. But you do want to help us grow here at Profound Effects Era by donating. You can donate to my Cash App, my PayPal, or my Venmo, and all that information will be included in that description box below this video. So you can do that down there, and I want to say thank you so much for doing that down there. God bless you, and y'all have a great weekend.